We're here at the Hearst Building in New York City to cover this fantastic event. Sometimes your night can be wild, it can be crazy, or you can play board games at your favorite coffee shop. This is a charity event, so make sure you do your research before you get here. We are here for a purpose. You ready, ladies? Yes! Yeah. 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 I think we're going to learn a lot about Linda McCartney today. What do you think? Well, you know, I'm excited because I know a lot about Paul. I know a lot about the Beatles, but we don't really know much about Linda McCartney. I mean, the obvious, she unfortunately died of cancer, mm -hmm. and she wasn't loved at the beginning, especially when she went on stage with Paul, but I'm excited to find out about her. Destiny. Oh, well, I feel sorry for Paul there. Should I? Well, I don't know. I think that he is definitely a hopeless romantic. Okay, that's a way of looking. It's true. It's true. And that's why he married Heather Mills later on? If she slept with every other rock star out there. I mean, did he know this? We're, we're kind of left to guess. That's the thing that I have a problem with. Now, on her side, I mean, Jim Morrison. Okay, yeah. it's Jim Morrison. You get the opportunity to sleep with Jim Morrison, yeah. you are sleeping with Jim Morrison. Well, sure, although at the time that she did, was he as, I imagine he was on top of his game right then. Well, they, not in New York, they're saying, so more in LA. I mean, but the thing about Jim Morrison is, even as a lead front man, he has those eyes, right? He has the voice and the eyes that it wasn't really portrayed that great in the movie. I was gonna say, it's hard to, like, wouldn't you hate to be that actor who yeah. has to be compared to Jim Morrison? And he, he didn't do a good job because, I mean, he has this sex appeal. You look at Jim Morrison yeah. on the stage, even if he's not big at that time, when she met him, the guy is sexy. Wait, what are you doing? Yeah, okay, hello. I already checked. <laughs> no, thank you. Whee! Way cooler. There's no way I'm getting down now. Welcome back. Now, if there's one thing that I've learned, it's never to mess with a woman's purse. Very true. I mean, a woman's purse is filled with private things that no man should see. I, on the other hand, well, I can go there. You mean you forced your way there? Yeah. Here's Josie being nosy. We here at Oso Cosmo are curious. We like to inquire. We're interested. All right, you know what? We're just downright nosy. But honestly, we truly believe you are what you carry around. So what better place to explore the human psyche than the most cosmopolitan city in the world? We're digging into the purses of New York City. So there's something pink. What's that? That's my purse, my wallet. That's an umbrella. Oh, hey, and it's handy and it's cute. I like it. Pocket size? What is that? All right, that's a tissue. No, 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 this thing. Oh, a bagel. Oh. <laughs> I've got a bag from Gap. <laughs> what is it? What did you purchase? I just bought a white Henley tea. Oh. Just like basic. Yeah, everyone <laughs> needs one. Sunglass case. Love the sunglass case. Chanel. Love the Chanel. Ridiculous amount of keychains oh, on my keychain. Can I see? Of course. Wait, LA, what is going on? This does not make sense. <laughs> There's a cookie. Mm -hmm. Chocolate chip cookie. cookie. A bagel. Yeah. You know when you're gonna get it was my boyfriend, so. Beautiful wallet. Thanks. Where is this from? Fendi. <laughs> Fendi. Oh, Louis. And I'll take the Fendi and the Louis. The bobby pins. <laughs> A large amount of bobby pins. So what do you not live without in your purse? I need those bobby pins. Why? I need them. Why do you need bobby pins? Because I can put my hair up into a bun at any moment, a moment's notice. I need that. Um, there's also some peanut butter and jelly sandwiches in here too. Are you me? Yeah, tea bags. <laughs> okay, she's English and she has tea bags in her purse. I do actually have tea bags. Oh, wow. <laughs> a lot of people say they're gonna do things they never do. Not me. I have one life and one chance to do it all. That's why I'm skipping to number 48 on my list. The firing range. I'm here with Joe from Target Sports. Now, Joe is going to teach me how to shoot a gun. Well, you've come to the right place. <laughs> come here, see with this pink shotgun. They're going to be ready to run right into the this hills. This gun's going to go boom back no, at me. No, it's not. Joe said I'd be safe. That's great. Yeah, but I have a gun in my hand. Now, when you're ready, put your finger on the trigger. Mm -hmm. And as you exhale, slowly apply pressure. There you go. That's it. I'm so nervous. Uh, uh, rule number one, we don't go waving firearms around. Bring it. I don't want to do this. I don't want to do this. I don't want to do this. I really don't want to do this. You can do it. Let's go. It was so loud. That's what scared me. There you go. OK, that was good. Did you guys see that? Oh my god. I killed it. I, oh wait, that's the wrong word. <laughs> Let's go, one more time. You got another round to fire. Okay, right? You are fine. Yep. Very good. 
Good, look at that. Almost a bullseye. Two shots, yeah? Okay. I shot a Glock 17 twice. That's good enough. Hi, I'm Josie Dye. In this film, we see a character who once had it all, but is going through a rough patch. Witty, charming, and sexy. What Cosmo girl wouldn't want to land a fun, fearless male? Well, consider this your crash course in dating one. I like sassiness, self-confidence, you know, confidence in their own sexuality, but to be adventurous and to surprise me, you know, a woman you don't know what she's gonna do without being too crazy. I don't, you know, I don't have time for women that are too crazy. If you answered mostly bees, you are a party pooper. Ew, your fear of getting into trouble is causing you to miss out. Our Cosmo tip, say yes. Going to the gym is like eating broccoli. It's so boring, but you know you gotta do it. Check this out, Robin Anton, founder of the Pussycat Dolls. We're gonna meet her and we are all gonna unleash our inner doll. It's gonna be awesome. Let's go, you sexy. What's up, sexy? You don't care what they say. You just like the other people. Okay, you know, I may never be a pussycat doll, but hey, this is a lot better than the treadmill.